Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome to another Recommendations by Book Cover Colour video. It is February so I decided to go with pink book covers because why not? Pink is my favourite colour and you know any excuse to share something pink is basically going to be in my wheelhouse. The first book that I want to recommend, I don't actually own a physical copy of and I'm really sad that I don't own it, like it's been on my wish list for ages, I just, I will get it at some point. It is Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan, which is a very adorable contemporary romance. It is about Emma who is an actress and she's been on a very famous TV series. She kind of plays like a Daenerys type character in a fantasy show but her character has just been killed off and she's just caught her boyfriend cheating on her and so she is not in a great place. She decides to take some time out and stays at Rosemont which is this beautiful estate in California. She's thinking okay great this is going to be a chance to rest, recover, sort of find herself again and then her path crosses with Lucian who is the grandson of the woman who owns the estate. He is a former hockey player who has stopped playing due to health reasons and he's quite grumpy but slowly his walls begin to come down around Emma and she discovers that he bakes his way through his feelings, which is, you know, a delightful trait to have. The two of them really begin to fill in the gaps that the other has as they build their relationship. It is really lovely and I just absolutely adored it. Content warnings in here obviously for cheating, for death of a parent which is off page, for domestic violence and also physical abuse of a child also off page. There is also concussion and migraine representation in this book. Next on my list, I don't know if anyone's going to be surprised by this because I would wager not, Smash and Grab by Maz Maddox which is the first book in the Relic series. This is a paranormalish MM romance about dinosaur shifters. On brand, right? This is about Simon who works in a museum and ends up catching some thieves in the act of stealing some dinosaur bones and this causes him to cross paths with Dalton who is this pink mohawk haired guy with boundless energy who turns out to be a dinosaur shifter. This is just highly entertaining from start to finish. It is very funny and very cleverly written because not all dinosaur romance books work but for some reason this series does and this book in particular is a really great example of getting into the book and while it's not my favorite book in the series it's definitely one that I would reread over and over again. There's also His Leading Lady by Jenny Nordback. Now this cover is very pink, the new cover is less pink and I have to say I'm a bit disappointed that they changed it, I get why they did but pink. This is about Hollywood heartthrob Alex who is trying to change up his image, make it a little bit more gritty in order to earn the role of a very cold, ruthless, calculating type of character. And in doing so, he goes to visit a dominatrix called Elena, who is sort of at the top of her field. And he has a proposal for her. He wants to hire her for a fake relationship and also learn from her about how to take on the characteristics of this role that he is desperate to win. Now, she is a very in control character. Like this is a really great opportunity for her but also she's kind of reluctant initially to get involved. The two suddenly have this very public fake relationship that forces them to confront a lot of their inner selves with each other and it's great. I meant to reread this last year and I really need to do it this year because I just remember I enjoyed it so much the first time through. There is Love Flush by E.B. Mitchell. This is a second chance contemporary romance between Lincoln and Annie who were together 10 years earlier and now 10 years in the future. They really haven't reconciled from their initial split. Annie has a chronic illness but has started up a toilet paper subscription service. She ends up having to go into business with Lincoln and his brother who own the local paper mill so they're forced together via circumstances. It is very fun, it is very entertaining, the chronic illness representation in here is top notch and this series just continues to get better in my opinion and I cannot wait for the next books in the series. Then the final book that I'm going to recommend is Rosaline Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall. This is the first book in the Winnebakes All series and a bit like all of Alexis Hall's books does not follow your traditional romance-ish type storyline. There is quite a few hard-hitting things that go on in here. Rosaline had a teenage pregnancy so she has a daughter in this book. The daughter is fantastic. There is also a really wonderful female friendship but Rosaline decides to go on to a baking show competition and while she's there she meets two guys, Alan and Harry. And so this has a love triangle in it but it, you work out very quickly which way this is going to go because one of the characters is not very nice and a lot of very questionable things happen to Rosaline when she's in his company. And I love that this book is not just as cut and dry as you would think it would be in a romance. It does deal with lots and lots of different things like 
the teenage pregnancy. There are discussions around abortion, content warnings in here for casual queer phobia. There is fat shaming in here. There is manipulation and gaslighting and, attempt and an attempted SA. There's also some great discussions around men's mental health and also just Alexis Hall's signature writing style and amazing side characters. Like the whole thing just works. And it's been a while since I've read this one, so I probably need to do another reread of this as well, like all my books. But I remember reading it and just really enjoying this entire story. All right, so those are my pink book recommendations. In the comments, I would love to know if you've read any of them or if you're planning on picking any of them up. Alternatively, feel free to share any of your favorite pink covered romance books. Or if you just want to let me know that you're here, but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave any kind of pink emoji. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.